What would happen if I am in the middle of my reconciliation? Let's go back to reconcile. And I'm to the point where everything is marked because it did it automatically or because I went in one by one and I checked it and I got to zero and there's stuff sitting there. So generally when you have transactions sitting in your in your um in your bank reconciliation screen, that's because maybe they belong to previous periods and we already have sort of uh, cleaned up the previous periods and force adjusted that beginning balance. Maybe they will show up on the next reconciliation. Judging by the dates in this particular case, and judging by the fact that they don't have a clear date next to them, that means that these are probably erroneous transactions. So I basically got two choices. Delete them, and that's if I don't want to affect, uh, if I don't care about affecting 2020, I would just delete them. Uh, or if, if I don't want to affect 2020 because it's already been closed and cleaned up and I don't want to delete them to mess up those books or maybe there's a closing date password, then I would simply just reverse them, okay? And we'll, we'll explain what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish now. And then I have officially reconciled my credit card. I'm going to go into the balance sheet. I'm going to go into balance sheet. And I'm going to click on my credit card, my 3375. I will click on that. And then all my transactions are showing up in here. Now, when I click on the gear menu on the right, there's actually a little checkbox that says clear on it. If I click on that checkbox, I can actually see which transactions have cleared the bank and which ones have not. So there should be two transactions sitting here. Let me do all dates here. There should be two transactions sitting here that haven't cleared the bank, which is the 101, 506, and the 5108. Again, as I explained earlier, if you are okay with modifying, these are 2020 transactions, modifying your 2020 financial statement, then you can just go in there and delete them manually one by one. If you don't want to affect 2020, then you have to reverse them. Really important. So there's a couple of ways to do it. One, you can just do a general journal entry against the sum of these two um, and then choose a whatever account you want. And this will be sort of a, a fudge account, a, 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 an account that we're doing just so we can sort of clean that up and we're accepting that that's not necessarily accurate. Or we can reverse it against the original category that it was that it was for. And the only way to truly do that is to kind of summarize it in um, in Excel just because there might be more than uh, one transaction. In this particular case, this is pretty easy. We can do a journal entry to reverse because it's only two. But if it happened to be more, we're going to customize this report and we're going to filter out clear transactions and we're going to show unclear transactions and click on run report. That's going to now summarize all my unclear transactions after, again, after I reconciled already the first month, and I know that everything I'm looking at is prior to my first clean reconciliation, then at that point, you could probably export this to, um, to, to Excel. Um, you, can, uh, you can't do it from here, unfortunately, but you can e export this to Excel and then group them by the split, and then you get the dollar amounts, and then you do your journal entry. What, what would the journal entry look like? Well, I'm going to click on the new transactions and click on journal entry and th this would be one journal entry for repairs and maintenance and another journal entry for let's take a look at that for meals and entertainment again if you have a whole bunch of transactions you would get this report into excel and summarize by category because i'm reversing errors from the past it's going to be 10156 so this would be uh, 101.56, and then this would be 51.98. And then the difference here is going to go to that Chase Visa 3375. And then the journal date in this case, let's do 1-1-2021, again, because we don't want to affect 2020. And this essentially reverses any unreconciled transactions just sitting there on the register. This is the same case for reversing bank transactions or open checks that didn't get paid last year or never got paid or old checks that are sitting there forever, it's going to be the exact same case. So let's go back. I'm going to go back and reconcile again. I'm going to reconcile the exact same month, 01-26-21, ending date, sorry, 
I'm going to put the same dollar amount and reconcile the same month, 0, 1, 26, 21. Click on Start Reconciling. And now, to get rid of these transactions, again, previous period, we don't want to affect previous period. We reverse on the current period. Then we select them all, and then we click on Finish Now, and we basically reconcile them in that second step once we know what doesn't belong in my regular real reconciliation. Now, in order to avoid confusion, generally what I do is I'll push the reconciliation one more day. That way I can have a clean reconciliation for 126, and then I have a separate reconciliation just for 127, so you can see them in two separate reports, and I can see my report that is an adjustment report in nature, and then I can see the report that's a clean reconciliation in nature. So I'm gonna click on Save, and I essentially cleaned out my old balances and my old transactions by reconciling them against a adjusting entry.